So exactly what is malware? Well, let's break it down and cue my rap music. Well, to make this easy, malware is simply a piece of software or a computer program that's used to perform malicious actions or attacks on a target. Now, even its name should give away what it's going to do. We take malicious plus software, and that's how we get malware. Now, as far as the attacker is concerned, our overall goal is to infect any device. There's malware not just out there for computers and laptops, but for phones, for tablets. The mobile industry is huge with malware right now. Once installed, the attackers can potentially gain total control over your devices, or at least over the data on your devices. Now, many people have the misconception that malware is a problem only for Windows, but Technically, attackers really don't care. They're going to affect any computing device, including our tablets, smartphones. So any person, company, or device is a target. Hello? I mean you. The more computers and devices that an attacker can infect, the more money they can make. In fact, they really don't care who they infect as long as they infect as many devices and people as possible because it's a numbers game. And guess what? It comes in various forms. Again, malware is just a categorization of security threats. And again, we will break those down as we get further in. Now, some of the goals of malware includes the ability to steal data off your machine, customer lists, accounting data. We can maybe harvest usernames and passwords. Not just yours, but anybody who's been on that machine. Now, usually about this point, I hear somebody say, uh, Dale, I'm broke. I really don't care if they steal my data. They can have my bank account. Well, guess what? I may not be after you financially. I could be after your resources. I may be looking into building a botnet, and I need computing power to go after Citibank because that's going to be financially beneficial to me. And of course, if someone backtracks it, they're going to come to you. And this is, again, where I will say you have the obligation to make sure that your machine is not compromised for the safety of others. Now, the people who create, deploy, and actually <laughs> benefit from malware can range from the whole scope of individuals who are just trying to hack their own internal network to organized crime. Folks, this is big money. As well as, yep, guess what? Government organizations. And in fact, this is such a big I'm going to use air quotes here, business, that people that are creating these sophisticated malware products are often dedicated just to that purpose. And it actually ends up snowballing because if I can get one piece of malware installed on you, I can use it to add additional pieces of malware. And again, this is so profitable here, folks, is that it actually becomes the full-time job. And you may be thinking, well, how do they make money off of this? Well, first of all, once they've developed and deploy their malware, they often then sell all the machines that they've infected to other individuals or organizations. And those individuals then go through and start installing more pieces of malware. And that's, again, where the snowball comes into play. And we end up eventually your machine being a member of a botnet. Now, this botnet is basically a mishmash of systems out there that are totally controlled by the attacker. And the botnet can be remotely controlled, which cyber criminals then go and use for their purposes, or they again may sell it to other cyber criminals. So again, the reason why we see such a big influx right now of malware is because it is so stinking profitable. And quite frankly, it should be a pain in your rear end, or should I say assets.